EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Martin here with your outlook for April 22nd, 2019. For your Monday, the upper level low that was affecting the region over the weekend with just uh, times of partly to mostly cloudy skies, it wasn't too bad. We had some showers, actually some uh, rounds of heavy rain on uh, Saturday morning, but we cleared out very nicely in the afternoon. And then Sunday wasn't too bad, just a stray shower across a few areas and uh, partly mostly cloudy, and that's basically what we're dealing with today, except I think this shower chance is going to be even less and just mainly limited to our eastern areas. Uh, and it's with association with this uh, system right here. This actually spawned a surface low as the upper level low moved eastward. Once it hit the water here, there's a surface low that formed kind of weak, but it will be moving off to the north. But uh, as it does so, during the afternoon hours, you could have a stray shower. Again, mainly across our eastern areas, just a 20% chance we carried here. would be highest toward the shore points, but... Even there, still not that big of a deal. As we go to the NAM high res future simulated radar, pay attention to this mass down here. This is starting off at, uh, let's see what time this is. This is 5 o'clock in the morning on Wednesday or uh, Monday. And the next couple hours here, this is going to kind of sit and spin out here and then move northward. Okay, so there could be, you can see a few like little renegade shower here possible for our eastern sections, mainly across Jersey, Delaware. For that shower to occur, not a real big deal. It would just be pinwheeling around that low as it moved off to the north, and that's it. So we're not dealing with uh, much precipitation, if at all, in most locations today, and partly to mostly cloudy. Kind of like a carbon copy as far as temperatures, though, today. Temperatures will be at 70 degrees or maybe lower 70s in some locations, so it's going to be a nice afternoon as far as temperatures go. And then once we get into Tuesday, we're going to be mostly sunny and very warm. Temperatures are really going to skyrocket up ahead of this next cold front. Here's the low pressure that's going to be driving that cold front. The uh, cold front is sitting way back here like this, but uh, the low pressure is sitting up here and uh, out ahead of this. We're going to get winds out of the southwest, and we're going to get temperatures in the upper 70s to near 80 degrees for highs here on Tuesday. So a very warm day, uh, but it is going to be short-lived because the uh, cold front is going to move through. But when the cold front moves through this time of year, we're not talking about going from 77, 78 degrees all the way down to... 40. <laughs> We're not dealing with that anymore, uh, but we are going to have temperatures noticeably cooler here on Wednesday, even though we're still going to be making a run at 70 degrees in many locations for Wednesday for highs also. Uh, the cold front's going to move through during the late evening and overnight. Could be a few showers of that. You can see that here. Uh, it's going to be a dying front. As we go back to the NAM high res feature simulated radar, you can see this moving in. Uh, kind of mid to late evening, it looks like it's going to move in our region. This is actually showing 5 p.m. This is earlier than the global models uh, on on Tuesday, but uh, looks like through the course of the evening, you have showers, maybe even a thunderstorm with this for far northern areas as this moves through, but this does not have much moisture with it. And uh, it's going to be a quick in and out type thing, kind of a dying front. And you can see that here. Here's looking at overnight and uh, just kind of falls apart. So not a lot of precipitation with this front either. Once this goes through, again, temperatures will be cooler here on Wednesday. Wednesday, you'll wake up and you'll just be partly cloudy. It might be a little wet on the ground, uh, but uh, temperatures here on uh, on Wednesday are going to be uh, 70, 72-ish, something like that again. And then the same thing here on Thursday. Another system moving in here is going to bring us another frontal boundary. It's going to bring us a few showers that's going to come in uh, probably Thursday evening into Friday morning. So Thursday is going to be another partly cloudy day, maybe partly to mostly cloudy, we'll call it, because later in the day you'll have an increase in clouds. A few showers moving, work, working its way through overnight into early Friday morning. And then remaining mostly cloudy after that point might be see, see some peaks of sun in the afternoon. And then it will be cooler over the weekend, but mostly sunny. Expecting mostly sunny skies here on Saturday. And uh, temperatures will be a little bit cooler, but uh, still near to slightly above average temperatures here for, for Saturday with highs in generally the middle 60s across the region. Maybe mid to upper 60s, we'll call it, because some areas in the further south, uh, southeastern portions of Pennsylvania, southern New Jersey, Delaware will reach the upper 60s for highs. And then we get back near 70 degrees or maybe even into the low 70s here on Sunday, but still mostly sunny skies. So it does look like a nice weekend's coming up here. And if you look at the total precipitation for this entire week, it's really not that much. We do have a couple fronts to deal with, again, mostly at night. And that's going to be, uh, the first one's going to be Tuesday night, but Wednesday's fine when everybody's awake, right? And then again on uh, Thursday evening, it's maybe maybe very early Friday morning, and then that's it. But that neither one has a lot of precipitation that we're dealing with with that. So uh, for the most part, if you take a snapshot of the week as a whole, and I generalize this entire week, it's still going to be 
uh, you know, near to slightly below average in terms of precipitation totals. So that's a good thing. We have a chance that uh, we can dry out a little bit and uh, hopefully uh, get more sun as the week progresses. I do think we're going to see a lot more sun than we've had over the last couple of days at several points during this week. So we will see plenty of sun this week. Uh, just aside from these few systems, it should be dry. Uh, you know, after we get past today, Tuesday is going to be a, a spectacular day. So tomorrow is going to be very warm. Uh, and if you do have an opportunity to get out and enjoy it, please do. I'm EPAWA meteorologist Bobby Martrich. That is your outlook for April 22nd, 2019. Have a great Monday.